Hallo. You're gonna go back in your cage. So I just set to print uh, this out, so let's see how it goes. Um, oh yeah, why is it like this? Actually no, that's covering, no it's not covering something. No it's not. Oh, my, my tablet. <laughs> so I've ordered some photo paper and it's uh, satin pearl, so it's on the higher cost. And I'm just about to leave, I've got my coat on and everything, but then I, I saw that the paper is right. I've got an hour. To go but it takes like half an hour or less to get to town by bus. Can you see it yet? Oh there it is. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no that's not right. Why is that a quarter of the freaking... Let's, let's just do a colour check. This is a colour check. I could just sell it as a small print or something. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well, it's not too bad. It looks it looks better on camera, but it's a bit more faded in with my own eyes. But not too bad. Better than what would be if I was sent to the uh, the printers I was going to send it to. But why is it small? Actually, I should take a picture. Come on. The button's broke. <laughs> it won't work. Um, so send that off. I can just sell that as a. Is that your five size? I ain't got any A5 paper to see. Um, yeah, that's about A5 size, so I can just sell that as an A5 print and just have to trim the edges off. And I want to do an A6 print as well and just kind of. No, wait. Do a test of the holographic uh, sheet. So I want to like do a holographic version for the smaller size prints. It looks better on camera. Tr trust me, it's it's like the camera does it a favor. It looks like the original. Um, like you can see, like when, when compared, it does. It's like, okay, that's the digital version. Okay, now it's the normal version. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna head out now. I've gotta dash to the post office, dash to the potato shop, and get myself a jacket potato because they're absolutely lovely. <laughs> um, Put that back in. I'll test it out when I get home. Uh, when I get back. And yeah. I might as well just put my computer to sleep. Uh, I'm only gonna be out till four ish. So. Yeah. Let's do let's do a I can't think. I gotta go, okay. Jump cut to the next bit. I've printed this like three times now and I have no idea why GIMP is like just doing this. Why? <laughs> Stop it. So I, I instead went to um, just did this, just press print, got the prompt and because I did a test print here, like this is what I did, like this is a test print, I, I didn't want to waste my colours on. Like, it's taking a bit longer so I'm taking that as a good sign. Wait, oh sorry, my feet. Oh there we go, okay there we go. But it's taking forever for it to come through. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. Oh, oh sorry, I'm just no I just noticed. Um You can see Yotas right there. Right there, he's just napping on the oh there he is. <laughs> he's poked his head up. Oh he's so cute. Um so I just gotta wait for that to come through. Come on. Come on, you know who's there. And it's also borderless as well, so um I mean I'm watching a Decina. Well just kinda listening to him. Like I can't really see. Um Oh come on. I, I want to show There we go. Decina. Because it's still not through yet. Gosh, I've never waited this there we go. Waited this long. So yeah. That's the full print. It looks really. It actually does look nice. Still, you can still see like all the CMYK-ish um, 
Like, but I kind of edited this chow a little bit to make it a bit brighter, but you don't, you don't really look all that different. Um, actually, I don't think it's really that noticeable of a difference. It actually looks a bit darker. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this. This turned out really well. Oh yeah, you can see my uh, business name right there. Oh yeah, I've also got to make sure that it's free of like any like dust and lint because I've had stickers like have bits and bobs stuck to it. So yeah, don't print through GIMP. Like look, look at that. That's disgusting. I hate it. So now, oh yeah, now what I'm gonna do? Oh yeah, actually, let me just show this. Yeah, that's semi glosser compared to full on glosser. So what I'm going to do now is get my other prints and put them like A6 size, just one there and one there, like that. Um, and see how they turn out and see them YK, because I don't want to, I don't know, just in case they look a bit bad. Alright, well, I'm going to get to work on that and see you in a sec. Okay, so I've, d I've decided, I've decided to test out what a holographic foil topping would look like. Um, so I had to like really trim down the edges um, by that much, <laughs> but I don't know, it feels like a lot. It it looks nice on camera, but trust me, it also makes it glossy. But it, it it does look like I really love the freaking holographic effect, but it it dulls the colours. So if you you can probably tell. Just by the side by side comparison, if you can just keep the shadow out of it. Get out of there, shadow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We can see, like, by the sky, that, that makes it re really obvious. So, I, I don't don't plan on uh, keeping... Don't, I don't plan on doing this, but it's, it's nice just, just to test it. I'd rather test it now when it failed than to give it to a customer and I get complaints. Complaints. But I do, I would, I do, I really want to get like holographic prints because it is possible without this horrid like colour drowning out thing. But you can't do it in the UK. You have, you can only get it done in the US or probably in China. But no, no, like getting, getting paper stuff from China is still very expensive. <clears throat> so I'd rather not. I freaking, freaking love this. Uh, look how strong it is! Like, oh my gosh, I, I freaking love it. Um, I might just get round to. Oh yeah, I'm gonna carry on doing some more test prints. Um, I've made a freaking mess around my uh, computer desk, so I just hop back to it. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I was just testing out like. A, an A6 print in a photo frame, so I got one of them, and it looks so freaking cute. Like, especially the pink frame, like, really complements it. I've got to find a way to try and sell it. I, I can, I can definitely sell this. It looks so freaking nice in the, uh, but I do need to make it slightly smaller. But um, I'm not sure by how much because I can't see through the freaking. Oh wait, there we go. Like, that's how bigger it is. Um, I don't know what I can do about it, but... But yeah, it's just the sun's kind of clipped off. Unless I move it, it should be fine. But it's okay if it's a print on its own, but... Oh my gosh, that was so freaking cool. Um, so yeah, I, I guess uh, A6 prints can fit in frames, but... They need to be slightly smaller. So yeah, I got I could, I gotta go like right not like right now, but I gotta start getting ready right now. So um jump cut to later. While I was editing, the the video I heard was like super boring. <laughs> so here's a different one. Um so I did I did another test print. Um just testing out what the Oh this one I forgot to darken the colours a bit, so I did that for this. I'm not sure because hmm. I think that's too dark the red stands out too much I don't 
really like it. But it kind of matches this print, which is what I've got done a while ago. Mm. Actually, I've never noticed the... Oh, crap. Oh, good thing this is the uh, two to keep print. Um, so I'll smudge on the sky right there. Um, so these two like almost matching colours, but this one's a bit more green. I wonder why. Like you can see the side looks a bit darker and a bit more greenish. And I've also never noticed, I wonder if the camera will pick it up, but there's just so much artefacting around the uh, lines. Like this was done in 2018 as you can see. Um, and I've also just added on Blue Star BR Arts so on the corner so people can see who, who did it. Which me. And for some reason, Blast always keeps getting his ears cut, uh, cut off. But this one is just fine. So I think I'll just do a bit more of a margin because I don't know. Very, very annoying to deal with. So, so that's what. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one to uh, store in the archive, I guess. And this, this one can. I'll just sell it as like a second. Oh, it's, it's going to be put on to sale anyway, so that's just a second. This one's. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. It. Just store it away for a bit. And. Oh, yeah, and I've also got the different sizes done. So I've got A6, A5, and A4. So you can order it different sizes and it costs more the, the bigger you go, obviously. And. I'm actually preferring to do printing at home instead, as, instead of professionally. Oh, and this Goober print is going to be discontinued because it's it's old. <laughs> it's old, oh, 2018 as well, right there. And this one's going to be discontinued as well. And this one is uh, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Oh, yeah. There we go. But um, it's kind of drawn in and oldish style and I, I think I can do backgrounds better now I just I really hated it I just used the line tool to, to do all this and I can definitely do that I'm not going to redraw this just yet because it's too soon I really don't want to I'm just wondering why this picture holds up so well like nearly three years later because normally I tend to start hating pictures like a year or so after drawing them like, like the, well I don't hate them, it's just, you know, I'm just exaggerating. <clears throat> um, I thought it's dry. Sorry. Oh, and this one, oh yeah, Sonic. Uh, the, and the other one, where's it gone? Oh, there you are. These are just going to be uh, dis just discounted, just, I've got two freaking men So I'm just going to downsize what I've got. And just make these easier for me. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I prefer the darker colours or the pastel, well not pastel but lighter versions, like lighter colour version of that. Then, then we've got the Casino Night, that's going to be sold on, it's not, obviously not going to be, I think I've already said it's not going to be discontinued, I, I, I forget, I'm just tired. So, oh yeah, I'm also going to put one of every print into my folder, so. Um, I've got a box under there. And it's just absolutely full of prints. It really needs to freaking downsize. And I also want to get rid of the, the Goober and Cafe Arcade just to replace them. I'm going to replace them so that this one print that I'm working on is going to take freaking forever because it's 600 DPI at A2 size. So it's going to be proper massive. <laughs> it's going to be as big as those. Uh, uh, Jojo posters. It's not as big, it's just nearly as big. So, uh, well, enough of that. It's, what time is it? Oh, it's nearly 7 o'clock. Well, 7 pm. So, I'm gonna just edit the video, do whatever, and yeah, <laughs> go to bed. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog.